I lost her just before I got her into the industry, like debuted with my first film. I was angry. Like the the only time I genuinely got angry from my heart was when she passed. Every time I, of course, there there was a part of me when I was shooting for the film and I was like, how am I going to de deal about my parents? Oh, my no. parents not being here anymore. And I don't know. I feel numb about it. How do you? handle death and grief in life is there a defense that you've already found in life i think uh the closest person that i've lost so far is my grandmom who sort of like bought me up because my parents were sort of like traveling when every time i was back home when i was a child um and i lost her just before i got her into the industry like debuted with my first film and she she was she was someone she was the closest to me in my family and i'd lost her and i've realized after that ki my dealing with death is extremely different than what i thought it would be i thought i'd be like you know drained in tears like you know just like not eating not you know just disconnected from the world but surprisingly i was angry like the the only time i genuinely got angry from my heart was when she passed i was like I I didn't shed a tear. It was just like so much yeah. anger which had built up, and I was like, no, this is, mm, you know, it was that. But that's the only time I dealt with anger as an anger, you know. So that was my defense, I think, with uh, grief and death yeah. and everything. And I don't know, yeah, like maybe tomorrow something else would happen, and I don't know how I'll react to it because that this is something which we generally yeah, yeah, don't we think don't know. about. But um, every time I, of course, there there was a part of me when I was shooting for the film, and I was like, "How am I going to de deal about my parents? Oh, mm -hmm. my parents not being here anymore." And I don't know. I feel numb about it. Yeah. Like I don't know how to react to it yet. But there'll be a sense of regret that we've not gotten time to spend enough with them. I think I'm already already um, feeling a little. Sad that I don't get to uh, sort of like stay with them and see them growing up. You know, seeing your parent also grow up yeah. is something. Like example, I've seen my mom since she was seventeen, eighteen, to now she is like forty-two, forty. Like, you know, it's it's amazing how you see your family, your parents' growth also as yeah. you're growing up. True. and every year every emotion every dealing that they go through it's different and it's more mature so you've seen them grow up and i have a little sister who's like uh, you know 8 years old and i'm like i don't get to see the growing up you know i just get to see the grown up yeah. and i'm like i miss it a lot but again i'm and this person who's receiving so much love from everyone out there True. and i feel equally responsible for them So this is the sacrifice that I think my family has made for people out there, and um, they're very proud of me. And of I know that when they're not here anymore, they will be equally as proud. But yes, there will be a little sadness in my heart that I couldn't or uh, I'm not be there.